everyone, this is Abhinash from SOS. Today in this video, we will see a use case to use set attributes action from Workshop Certifies web interface. Now for this use case, I'm going to use an evaluation version of PeopleSoft. Now consider a test case where I have to create a department in my PeopleSoft application. So for that, I have to navigate to the departments page. So I achieve it using the menu path, main menu, set of HCM, foundation table, organization and departments. Now I can automate this using live touch to learn all the links that I need to achieve this navigation. Now consider a different test case where I need to navigate to a different page. For example, let's say I want to navigate to stock to maintain the daily prices. So I go to stock, daily prices and maintain daily prices. Now you can achieve this with live touch as well and you wouldn't have any problem. But the problem here is if you consider a big volume of test cases where you want to navigate to almost every menu path in this application, you end up live touching around 300 plus links, which will definitely take up large storage space. Now all these links are stored in database. And if you consider a similar approach for other applications that you automate, it is definitely going to eat up your storage and hit the database pretty hard. And this will definitely deteriorate the performance of your database. Using set attributes action will not only overcome the database issues that I just mentioned, but also the maintenance becomes easy as we create only one dynamic object. Now in our case, if you're going to live touch all the 300 menu links, now these links are stored in certified database. The maintenance of these objects can be very difficult and time consuming when there is a change. To avoid such issues, we are going to use set attributes action to dynamically build the object during runtime. I recommend you all to learn the set attributes before you proceed. Now, if you see that when I learn this menu using certifies web learn, you can see that the complete menu learns as an HTML link. Now, if you see the difference between these links, you can see that the value of the inner text and outer text changes. So now we can create a logic to dynamically change the value of the inner text and outer text during runtime. Now this is what set attribute is going to do. I'm sure by now you're already aware of how set attribute works. So if you see that I have all you have created a process called UTL people soft menu navigation. This is a utility process that can be reused in any process that you want. Now if you see the steps, I have created a dynamic link object. This is just one object where I set the attribute and then I press that object. Now this is my dynamic attribute. So you can see that dynamically the value of the replace me will be removed and it will be replaced by the data that is coming from the record set. So you can see that manually if I want to go to the departments page, I would have to click the main menu, set up HCM, foundation tables, organization and departments. The same way, I'm using the same menu path row wise. So you can see that main menu set up HCM, foundation table, organization and departments. So you know that from the basics of how certify works, if you have five rows of data in record set, this process will be executed for five times with each different set of data row wise. So now let's execute this and see how this navigation is achieved. Okay, so now you can see that it navigated to the departments page successfully. Similarly, we can use other menu navigation items in the record set and achieve the navigation. Now let's say I have want to navigate to a different menu path where I have to go to a maintain daily prices page. So I'll just choose a different record set that I've already have created before. So now you can see that the path of this is main menu stock daily prices and maintain daily prices. Now, if I'm going to execute this, it would work similarly and navigate to a different page.
So similarly, you can create your own record sets and give the menu path row wise and achieve this navigation. Thank you all for watching this video. This is Avinash from Soez and I'm signing off.